What is up everybody, Video Addict here, and I've got a box from Never Enough Tactical uh, Zombie Killer Box. I couldn't resist it. I saw it pop up and I was like, it sounds interesting, why not? And Jay's here today, we're out to hunt and lease. It's windy as hell, but we have the little dead cat here on the microphone. So hopefully that will help with the sound. But uh, coffee coffee at the deer lease is not a good thing. It's like motor oil. I don't drink it. All right, so let's get into it because we've got deer to go kill if they ain't too blown out by the wind anyway. We can prepare for the zombie deer. We can prepare for the zombie deer. I'm excited and worried at the same time because <laughs> I don't know, there's no hints about it or anything. I just took a flyer. All right. Open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Oh, that's kinda <laughs> cool. We have a stencil of the zombie. Ah. That's actually kinda cool. That'd be fun. Yeah, it'd be fun. I can put on the metal targets. Yeah. The big eight inch oh, yeah, ones. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would target. be really cool. So I like that. We also have one splatter target. <laughs> that's one. weird. One. One splatter target. Well, you don't want it when the zombies are coming. You don't want to waste your ammunition on the target. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> you got plenty of targets. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so we do have a card. No way. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it, I don't think it's a gun. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we have zombie edition 550 paracord, 100 foot. It's like a purple, lime green, and uh, black. I like paracord and it's kind of cool to have this i might can do like a cool little i've been trying to want i've been wanting to do some of those little where you braid them and make you oh, a little yeah, yeah, yeah. lanyard kind of thing or something like that so That'd be a cool color this will be a cool color for that so i'm pretty excited about that uh that's patriot stencils zombie special and then 100 foot of 500 550 paracord uh, when you're in survival mode, multi-purpose tools are essential. Paracord is countless, has countless uses and includes weapon making, trip wires, and restraints and more. Cool. like it. We'll use it as a way down right now. Because if you can see, the wind is blowing like nobody's business. Next up is a survival handbook. Uh, That's... This is cool actually, it. yeah, this probably has some really super, tells you how to <laughs> use your pants. We did that in the Navy. Uh, we actually did that in the Navy. Yeah, those of you that did not know, Jay was in the Navy for nine years. Um, sometimes I forget myself, and he reminds me, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's like, okay, we've been friends forever. You don't remember I was in the Navy. It tells you how to open coconuts. You know, basic survival stuff. Uh, some plan identification very cool book it's the fm 2176 uh from the headquarters department of the army it says october 1970 so it probably hasn't been it, it, it must have been a surplus item okay still probably rings true next up is never enough tactical tactical ink pen <coughs> Ooh. We have a tactical ink pen here, and it comes with an extra refill. Yeah. So you got your glass breaker here on the end. Um, it's. I don't ever really understand tactical ink pens, other than you can. They're usually pretty sturdy for you to break glass or to, you know, like jab somebody in the neck. But for the most part, 
I don't understand them. But I have one exactly like this from whenever I used to subscribe to Never Enough Tactical. So Jay, now you have a tactical ink pen. I just, I, I have one question. Is what is a tactical ink pen doing in a zombie box? Because you might have to keep count of uh, your zombie tick kills. Tick marks. Tick marks. Yeah, tick marks. Okay. So, you know, I mean, you got to think of all the angles. Jay. That's right. That's that's true. My bad. Multiple yeah. use items. <laughs> All right, this is something I'm actually pretty excited about. Oh, that's cool. You have a Gerber uh, Machete Junior. <laughs> Jay moves. I actually like this. I like this a lot. It has a good saw blade on the back, and it's a pretty sharp little machete. I've seen these. It's got a good rubberized grip. I've seen these. I actually like them i have the one that kind of curved the bear grills yeah uh, the bear grills I forgot version what but Light. a machete is never a bad thing to have and for the most part gerber makes really good machetes blades cool. blades a little thin it's, you know for machetes supposed for, to be. yeah but i'm extremely excited about it it would work to kill a zombie and now, last but not least, is going to be Rough Rider, and it's going to be throwing knives. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I'm not gonna throw knives at a zombie. <laughs> I don't think. But we have a nice little. Oh, they got little targets too. It's a whole little. Okay. I don't have any throwing knives. Alright. Little... Hey Chad, take off running. Yeah. <laughs> Chad, go! You in the back. <laughs> I promise we won't hit you, we suck. <laughs> they have a little bit of a sharp, of a, of a sharpened edge. I didn't know they had that. Oh but. yeah, that shit. They feel really good though. They feel pretty. They don't feel flimsy. Mm -mm. So that's something. I kind of, I kind of wish I had like a little, like thing that you could attach to like Molly or something, that's to where fun. you, <laughs> to where you could like have them right here and you just like grab them out of your. Like I could attach it to my tactical vest. So whenever I just get antsy in the zombie apocalypse, I can just. Be like, I'm going hunting. And you just throw it on, go out there. I like around. the fact that they give you this. <laughs> this little bitty like target? Like you're going to hit this little ass target. Yeah, I need that bigger target. <laughs> Probably about three times that size. You use our bow, our bow target. Yeah. yeah, and maybe get lucky. I would throw this at that tree, but it would probably ricochet and hit Jay's truck and like stick in a tire or something. Come on. No, I'm not, gonna, Come on. I'm not doing that. Jay would probably tackle me. As long as you replace the tire, I don't care. <laughs> no, I know how much these tires cost. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I threw the packaging. But yeah, they got some different shaped ones. You know. Uh, it looks like three. No, they're all different shapes. You have three different sizes of this one. And three. Ow! Yep, there it is. It was Remember? bound to happen, but Jesus. Like right in the right in the Is there blood? No. Oh. It just hurt. It hurt, Jay. I was, I was about to say, what's that what what's this, <laughs> what cut number are we on? So <laughs> you have like a large, medium, and small of this one and a large, medium, small of this one. Hey James, how many times have you cut so I can write it down on my type of <laughs> <laughs> tick marks? You know, tick marks on James's cuts. That seems about right. Uh anyway, you know what? Uh, I'm not disappointed in it because I don't have any so therefore I think it's kind of cool because I don't it's something I didn't have you know mm -hmm. uh, not that I would think this would be the most practical item to have for a zombie box for a zombie p killing pack but what are you gonna do right it's fun to play with it's fun to play with I will definitely have fun with it but this I guess you sense
bunch of those. Yeah. I was like, that thing's really, really loose. Them are really bungy. Merce. <laughs> I feel less of a man just carrying it. You look less of a man carrying it. See, that that's not good when your friends say that. It's hurtful. Sorry. But I'm, I'm when it hurt. goes down, you just unclip it. I'm hurt that my best friend embarrasses me in front of thousands of people. Really? <laughs> it's hurt. Words hurt, Jay. I've done a lot words. of words to embarrass you. <laughs> <laughs> and I've done much worse yep. to embarrass you. So well, that's from Rough Rider. Uh, I'll put this at the beginning of the box uh, so you'll be able to see everything that's involved in this box and you'll be able to read up on all the descriptions yeah. no it's a stencil for a zombie uh, shooting it no. it's a stencil for a target could be. it could be multiple uses multiple uses you know you just, just go <laughs> if you have a neighbor you don't like just go to their front door and you know tag it alright well I I here, video addict, do not condone, condone or approve of that type of behavior. <laughs> yeah, disclaimer. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I like the machete. I like the paracord. I like the survival book. I like the stencil. Uh, tactical ink pens, I'm not a fan of, but it is what it is. The throwing knives, although unpractical, still could be fun. So, how much is this box? Seventy-five dollars. I feel like it was a little bit underwhelming for that price uh, just because first off my pouch for this is a little bit molded mold stained so they probably got these in like a surplus kind of thing uh, this book's from 1970 <laughs> book has not been updated uh, oh that's a good book though it's got good information in it you probably had that first hand too, didn't you? <laughs> this here is Bo from our uh, hunting lease, and he uh former Marine. So thank you for your service. I'm sure. I got a lot of ex-military people on my channel, so it's good. I got ex, ex-Marine. I got ex-Navy. You were in the military too, weren't you? No, I was not. No, nope, you weren't? You were lazy, was, like me? My dad was military. <laughs> your dad? Lazy. So, yeah, you know. I can't say that it's the greatest thing that I've ever bought, but it is what it is, right? All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't in the comments below. Like, share, comment, and as always, subscribe. I'm out.